So today I'll be showing you how to set up the Galaxy Watch 5 for the first time. This is a setup guide for beginners who've probably never used a Galaxy Watch before. So this is the Watch 5 Pro, but it's the same instructions for the regular Watch 5. So the first thing you need to do is press and hold this button to switch on the phone. Just press and hold until you see the Samsung logo and the phone will go on. Now, as you can see on my own watch, it's going to ask me to select the language first. So go ahead and do that. And then it's going to tell me to select country or region. I'll look for my region or my country. There you go, found it. And then now I'll need to press restart. So it can basically restart with my own region and language settings. And once it restarts, you should see now the welcome screen. Now you need your phone to complete the setup process. Now, if you have a Samsung phone, then there's a likelihood you might see this screen where the phone already detects there's a watch nearby and gives you that pop-up so you can connect. But that's not the only way. So you can tap on connect and continue. Or if you didn't see that screen or maybe you're using a different phone, what you need to do is go ahead and install the Galaxy wearable application. This app right here, you can find it in the Play Store for all Android phones. It doesn't have to be a Samsung phone. But on most Samsung phones, it comes pre-installed in the phone. So all you need to do is launch it and then tap start to launch it for the first time. And immediately with the watch close to the phone, it's going to detect there's a watch and give you a code. And as long as the code on the watch matches the one on the phone, simply tap on confirm. And then it's going to ask if you want to allow Galaxy wearable app to manage your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, tap on allow. And at this point, it might start downloading updates necessary for the Galaxy wearable application. So just wait for it to do its thing. And once the software finishes downloading, you're going to see this screen. Uh, one is sending for diagnostic data, which is optional. Number two is to agree to automatic updates, which is also optional, but I recommend you leave that on so that your phone gets regular updates. Tap on continue. And it's going to ask if you want to allow your watch manager to access photos and media on your device. You want to tap on allow. And then you should see the Google Terms of Use, Usage and Diagnostic Reports, all that stuff. Simply tap on Agree. And then wait for it to get your watch ready. On the next screen, you might be asked to sign in to your Google account. And this will basically add your Google account to the watch. So you can use apps like the Play Store, Google Maps, and things like that. So if you want to, tap on next. If you don't want to, then you can tap skip. I want it, so I'll tap on next. And then of course, it's going to ask me to verify. Enter your password. Tap on continue. You can set up backups for your watch. If you had tapped on skip, then you'll have been taken straight to this page where it's currently finishing up the setup process. And as you can see, it says I'm all set and it shows me the watch control interface. And let's wait for the watch to start. All the configurations we set up on the app are now being transferred to the phone. And now tap on start. And it's going to give you a quick tour on how you can swipe from the top to open the quick panel and it shows you the quick panel and how to exit the quick panel by sliding up. Also, it's going to show you how to open apps by sliding up from the home screen and then closing that and going back to the home screen by sliding down. Swipe from left to right for notifications. To open notifications, tap on that just like that. 
and then slide like that to go back or you can swipe to go back to the home screen if you want tiles then slide from the right to the left you should see daily activity and things like that press the home key which is this top button here to go back to the home screen or the watch face and that's the end of the quick tutorial and also this orange dot on the left hand side shows you you have notifications so if you slide you should see if you have notifications after the short tour the setup is complete and there is your setup Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 so for the most part you'll be controlling everything from the watch itself you have the settings you have apps all that stuff here but also you can control your watch from the Galaxy wearable app so simply launch the app and you should see that it's connected to your watch you can even see the battery percentage you can change watch faces you can change app screens tiles you can change watch settings from here most of the stuff you can do from the watch you can also do from the wearable application and that's it that's how to set up your galaxy watch 5 for the first time thanks for watching leave your comments and questions down below and good luck